Greater Calcal is a beautiful terrestrial bird, and although it resembles pheasants, it belongs to Cuculidae family, but it is not a brood parasite. It is also known as crow pheasant or calcal. A widespread resident in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, it is divided into several subspecies, some being treated as full species. They are large, crow-like with a long tail and coppery brown wings and found in wide range of habitats from jungle to cultivation and urban gardens. Adult has glossy black-purple head and body. Wings are bright chestnut on upper wing, and black on underwing, Long graduated tail is glossy dark green, contrast between chestnut and black is very conspicuous in adults. Strong and heavy bill is blackish. Eyes are deep red, legs and feet are dark gray. Both sexes are similar. Greater calcal flies at low elevation, with heavy wing beats. Its flight is weak, slow, and clumsy. It usually hops from branch to branch to a treetop if it flies long distances. Then, it takes off from the treetop, and flutters and glides downwards, before to disappear into dense cover. Juvenile has black streaks on chestnut parts and pale buff streaks on black parts. Greater Calcal lives in grassland and second growth, at forest edges, near cultivated areas and water. It is also found in mangroves, scrubs, marshes, reed beds and gardens. They are most active in the warm hours of the morning and in the late afternoon. Greater Calcal feeds a wide variety of preys. It feeds while walking in tall grasses and thickets. It walks slowly like a pheasant, with held horizontal tail, or it skulks through dense undergrowth. This bird hunts on the ground, and may hop and run actively when pursuing prey. Sometimes, it picks up some vegetation and other food items. Greater Calcal is a bird rather secretive, often concealed into dense vegetation. Sometimes, in the evening, it perches in a bush top, above the lower vegetation. It readily perches in trees where it can clamber and hop about easily. Greater Calcal feeds on large insects, caterpillars, small vertebrates, young mice, snails, lizards, birds' eggs, fruits and seeds. The breeding season is after the monsoon in southern India but varies in other parts of its range but chiefly June to September.
Greater calculs are monogamous, and the courtship display involves chases on the ground and the male brings food gifts for the female. The female lowers her tail and droops her wings to signal acceptance. Both the male and the female take part in nest building over about 3 to 8 days. Greater Kalkal's nest is a large globular mass. It is strongly built, with grasses, leaves and twigs, and tied up to large stems, or hidden in a bush. It may be a deep cup with a dome. Nest materials are loosely woven, and close leaves and stems are bent and woven directly to the structure without cutting. So, nest remains always green, and perfectly concealed among vegetation. We can see a lateral entrance, they can be built as high as 6 meters above the ground, and female lays 3 to 6 whitish glossless eggs. Both parents share all domestic duties. Hatch after 15 to 16 days of incubation. The chicks take 18 to 22 days to fledge. A study in southern India found that 77% of the eggs hatched and 67% fledged. Nests with eggs were sometimes abandoned or marauded by the jungle crow. The bird is associated with many superstitions and beliefs. The deep calls are associated with spirits and omens. The flesh was once eaten as a folk cure for tuberculosis and pulmonary ailments. Greater Kalkal is common and widespread in its range but some populations are locally threatened by habitat loss. <laughs>